here on our northern suburbs, 28 Monticello, 30 Newburgh, and there's much colder air upstate, 8 Messina, 22 Albany, so once northeast winds come in, it's going to drag in this cold air supply. So it's mainly snow event, although eastern Long Island and the Jersey Shore could mix in a little bit during the day on Monday. I mean, lots of tropical moisture here. The southeast has been warm all month. There's lots of moisture here, and now we need the cold air supply and the upper level energy. And the northern branch is right here. This is a very cold pool of air. And this circulation will team up with the southern circulation and bring this rainstorm northward, eventually a coastal storm and eventually a big snowstorm for us. By tomorrow morning, it's over eastern Tennessee. The circulations really haven't teamed up. It's still a rainstorm to our south. By tomorrow evening, some of the precipitation has moved into colder air. We get light snow, a little accumulation by dark, but the storm still hasn't come into its own. It's not even along the coast. But a critical time by Monday morning, now they're starting to team up. The circulations are. We've got big snows from late tomorrow night into Monday morning. That's when we're really accumulating, maybe a half foot on the ground by this time on Monday. Another critical time is when the circulation literally reels this storm in, captures it, and makes it sit there from Monday, 7 o'clock in the evening. By Tuesday, it's moved very little. In fact, it's maybe done a little loop-de-loop, -loop, a little lap in the Atlantic, giving us waves of snow here. So that's why it's going to be such a long-duration storm. Again, on the timing, light snow during the afternoon, a light accumulation by about 7 o'clock, the heaviest snow around midnight or so, a little bit early to the south and west, were all snowing during the day. During the day on Monday, there may be again that mixing eastern Long Island, Jersey Shore. There may be a touch of a lull in the air before we get whacked again on Monday night and early Tuesday before it comes to an end by midday Tuesday. So one to two feet should be the rule. Again, maybe a little less far east and southeast. Uh, there could even be some over two feet of miles coming through central New Jersey. We'll watch out for that. So winter storm watch is in effect for the long duration. Coastal flood. This is a big problem. We really could get some devastating impact on our coastline. High tides, the first one from four to seven o'clock in the morning, or in the evening I should say on Monday will be affected. The only way out if the storm starts to track inland like the 66 storm did, but that's a very slight chance. A loop-de-loop -loop that happened in March of 1888, and we were belted with 20 to 40 inches of snow then. Mostly cloudy, a freshening northeast wind tomorrow. The snow develops increasing wind. We start accumulate tomorrow evening, but it becomes heavy tomorrow night with possible blizzard conditions. Look at that. Monday night into Tuesday, windy, blowing and drifting. Hopefully this ends by Tuesday afternoon. But we could be dealing with this for a good 36 to 48, maybe even 72 hours. Okay. Thanks, Lee. Thank you, Lee. Rich Cook is up next.